the next round on our Swiss tournament for the Light Seekers UK final. Yes, yes. I'm excited, Benny. I'm very excited. Yep. So we we've got a new couple of players yeah. coming up. Yeah, we have. Uh, let's, hop, let's hop over to our players and see what we've got. So we've got Matt H95 and Just Foz. So who are they playing as, Benny? Uh, yeah. So Mad H is playing Sun Hunter Tuk Two. Yep. So that is one of Mythic Heroes. Okay. With very cool. Solar, Earth, and Gravity. Nice. And uh, we have Just Foz playing Selini, uh, also an Astral Hero, but all out Astral. So a lot of Astral, but a bit. A bit of mixture. So, what else do you think we can see in there, Benny? Anything, uh, anything interesting you so, think we can expect uh, to see? So, uh, Sun Hunter took this uh, hero ability. Yep. Uh, let's her reveal or call out for capture of card. Yep. Put some attack, buff, defend. Reveal a top four cards from the deck, and then if one is among those, you can draw it. Okay. So you can basically, uh, yeah, narrow down your draws a little bit. Yep. And dive nice. a bit deeper into your, yep. into deck. Uh, Selenis is to, which um, is a superior solar hero. Yep. Um, I she want to say, she is a superior. She is a superior solar hero. Uh, yep. Good, got that right then. And she can um, move one card. To and my she hand? Can, yeah, so an ability to move one card to the bottom of a discard pile to draw two. Oh, so okay. she can basically get rid of things that are currently not that useful to just draw more cards. Oh, okay. Of course, but they are going to discard pile. Oh, I was about to say. So, so I was, first of all, I was going to say it's a little bit like um, Tempest. Tempest, but actually, it's a discard pile. Yeah. So, so you are. Uh, Losing the cards. You are losing the cards. Uh, it yep. goes to the bottom as well. So you've got to modify the top card, except right. for the first card you remove. Yeah, the obviously. first one, of course. Yeah. Um, so uh, it sounds like it's going to be an interesting matchup. Yeah. So I expect I we're going to see, see a lot of the Sun Hunter Tuk Tu ability being used. Whenever we see these decks, you tend to see that getting a lot of use. Yeah. I mean, I assume Selena will also play very aggressively here. Yep. Uh, you're discarding whatever is not reading right, right now to just get more probably reliable damage out. Okay. So I think we should. Uh, I think we're about ready to go over to the match. I say that. If only our person who was uh, calling the match start. There we go. There we go. I say we're going over. In all honesty, <laughs> I swing my arm around and then they know when to start. We've, we've seen behind. So here we go. So who's starting our match? Yeah, so we have uh, Selini going first. Selini going first. Uh, it's uh, just Foz. Starting with a Spectral Guide, which draws a card when it enters play, and then has an ability to draw uh, two cards per ability use. Yep. Uh, and Tuk Tuk has called out for something. Yeah. We don't know what. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. We don't know what the call. We don't know what the call out is. But we have one of each there, so it was for attack cards. There you go. So drawing a pathfinder, and the other goes back in the same order. So it gives you a good idea of being able to just look at what is coming ahead yeah. in your drawer as well. Yeah. So. So that's a par paralysis bug. Yeah, it gives one card when display, and uh, the opponent can't draw cards or play defense. Okay. So he basically loses actions now, or yeah. So he plays one card and loses one action. And there's a Skyward Observatory, is that? Uh, yeah, that's Skyward Observatory. Yeah. Which will increase damage and healing done by rotation value. So and nothing. healing. Uh, yeah, damage and healing done. Yep. Them. I got you, Benny, don't worry. I got you. I did say healing, but you speak very quickly. Oh, OK, uh, well, I take it back then. It's OK. Uh, oh, so there we go. That's sprayed oh, into wow. cross combos. Wow, OK. All right, so, so I mean that's one of the great things about the mythic heroes yeah, that so, they can obviously get those cross combos in early. Yeah, so cross combos are quite flexible in payment. So what combo is this? It's meteor, so this is meteor shower. Meteor shower. Meteor shower does nothing. Then seven damage, five damage, four damage. That's a like, that's a lot of damage over um, those turns. And uh, let's see, is the deck running any? Look at the deck list here. There are no Yukona archaeologists. Okay. So a Yukona archaeologist, if drawn, can restart a buff in play, including oh, wow. a combo buff. That so would be. That would work. That would work amazingly well. Yeah. On the other side here, uh, card run now active. So you're seeing the uh, Chimji lookout to draw three. Yep. And contemplating second action, I believe. But yeah. So meter shower is a lot of damage on the board straight away. That is I assume you would have had a Yukona archaeologist in there with that, Benny. Uh, so, uh, I did. Sure. I did think so. But I mean, regardless of what kind of took the deck you build, you got to put this in. Exactly. So it's so four dimensional hunter there, yeah. Yep. So it does four damage. Uh, and send two defend cards back to deck. And because Lunar's on top, you get one more action as well. So that's a big value card right there. So still have two actions to go. Uh, oh no, that was the first one was of yep. course the uh, yep. uh, the lookout. So one action to go. Okay. So I see a few cards there. Oh, yep. oh. Okay, so the damage is going through. So it did uh, opt not to use a draw so this turn. a black hole there come out? Uh, yeah. So 
seven damage coming through. Well, okay, so using the ability again here. Pulling out something. Pulling out something. Uh, is it attack or buff? You get a yeah. draw. If you call defend, you get nothing here. Okay, so you just have to put them all back in the order they are in, yeah? Yeah. So, yeah, so going for an attack. Yeah. However, uh, that combo, uh, it's only got two cards in hand right now, so you cannot afford to play it. Okay, quite so. Quite far away, actually. <laughs> Okay, and then removing, removing this Vault Observatory. Yeah, so that's a somewhat questionable remove, I would say. Yeah. Uh, because you only have one corner left. Of course, you can do healing and card draw, or yeah. healing and damage with the same card with some beacons, so you could get four value out of one corner. Yeah. But really, the best but, that they could do there, unless they chain actions, of course, is six points of value. Yeah, of course. So, uh, what have we got there? We've got so, that is a Sandstalker, which gives uh, and a, three damage, additional action. And a Dust Peter. And a Dust Peter heal for seven. And back down 25 again. So, he's outlasting this uh, he's, he's Meteor Shower. He's fighting back against the Meteor Shower. Yep. He's been having the Meteor's rain upon him. Yep, but he's doing good in terms of hand size. So, he's. Yep. Uh, I think that uh, Just Falls here with Selene has the advantage in the game so far. Yep. Like, that damage the hunter played earlier did really yeah. good work for him. Yeah, I mean, like you say, he's soaking up the damage from that meteor shower yeah. surprisingly well. Yeah, and uh, okay, what's so noting here is that observatory out. Yeah, so more incoming damage increase. Uh, so so Mad Age does have another. Oh, so there's a rock. There we go. Another power point. Remove it. Okay, so we're seeing a selection of cards there come out. Yeah. So, so attack of Riffin Flare. So now he can afford his. Uh, so is, he fishing, is he fishing for his combos with the idea uh, of using combo to save <laughs> combos right now? I'm not entirely sure uh, because they can both deal 10 damage at the yeah. at this stage. Of course, Solar Wind does have potential for 16 damage if you discard two additional next, Solar Cards. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Meteor Shower will be leaving the game next turn. Yeah. So, okay, okay, so there we've got a Sun Beacon. Yeah, so that is 6 damage and 7 healing because of the increase from... Uh, Scout Observatory. Nice. So Sun Beacon is a really high value card, Amazing. but you lose a potentially unknown card to your discard pile. Yes. Which could be critical. Okay, so another uh, Observer. Yeah, a Lookout. Uh, lookout. But My it draws bad. an immediate defense card, so there's only one card from it. So it's drawing up to up, draw until you find a defend card or, or up to three. three. Yeah. At a very, very, very early stage of Design. Yeah. We want it to be drawn until you get a defend, but of course it's wow. a deck with no defense. You just no defense. Yeah, you just, oh, there's my deck. Yeah. So Did you try that one out, Betty? We didn't even try it. <laughs> that was just the, the first jokey effect, and then yeah. we kind of built on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it always three? Um, the moment we limited it, it was three, yes. Yeah. Well, in a very early game, it was like the stats plus one. Of course, yeah. I know, I remember you yeah. talking about the stats game. Yeah, all stats plus two, perhaps. Uh, anyway. Okay, wow, so we've seen... Ooh, so down to uh, so that is uh, so what happened uh, there? So that was a astral priest for eight on top yeah. of the observatory, uh, yeah. followed by a chim chim militant for seven, and then healing off a boulder feast. Yep. <laughs> How does some hunter took to eat boulders? Oh, Benny just swallows them. Just swallows them whole. Yeah, whole higgish looking boulders. I mean. You don't see how big they are. It's this quite a small, biggest yeah. looking boulder. Yeah, yeah. It's just very nutritious. So calling for, I don't know actually what here. Maybe defend. Uh, but the both is, yeah, oh. both is already used. So yeah, that was defend. Yeah. Uh, now, they just falls is sitting on two more sun beacons, which is probably just going to play now for, okay, using Selene's ability to get two draw and discarding the healing. Does not need healing yeah. right now. Looking for some, just looking for some damage. To, here comes the Sun Beacon, yep. and losing so, a uh, Dimensional Hunter. Yep. Four damage and five healing. That is a good card, yeah. the Sun Beacon. Like you say, it can. You, if you lose the wrong card off of it, then you could be in trouble. Yeah. Now I know that uh, Took Two is also running into Sun Beacons, but not yeah. drawing them. And of course, he's seen his top three cards right now, so yeah. he's just question what's the fourth. Yeah. Because none of those will really save him. There is a beacon still in going hand. For it. So what is yeah. the fourth one? Oh, that's oh. the sun beacon. So if they call for defend, yeah, that's a Did good he call. Though? Did he call? I mean, is he? It seems like no, because there's yeah, no choice in that yeah. case. They call for buff. Oh. Okay, so. It's got the, para got the paralysis bug there. 
Yeah. Rob Rager. But you probably just want to do, yeah, exactly. Just hold on for next turn and then hope that you can't get killed. So send the card back. Yeah. Well, he has a zombie. He has a. No, no, he can't draw because of the Heartbinder. No one is watching the game. Okay, no, they they realized. Okay, they have realized. We. There was a bit of arms flailing for a minute, that's why we yep. went somewhat quiet as we tried to get a, the attention of a judge who has now gone over to rectify a problem that... Yeah, so... Yeah, so the card... So he could not draw cards because of the paralysis bug, which means send back the deck and get the discarded card back to hand. Well spotted, Benny, and guys playing. Uh, yeah, no, they did catch it the last moment. Uh, now, I think he's holding a... Yeah, so he gets no card draw from that. Uh, and he okay, can't so we've got what we've got there. It's a, it, did uh, I use, he's holding some beacon. He has the killing bow in his hand, but he did not play it. Strange. It does four damage. Maybe he didn't realize. I mean, or, he played a couple of them, though. Or did he play one this turn? Has he already played one this same turn? I don't know. He, there's a, there is one in the discard. But I think that was last turn. So I think he just played that card now and then did nothing. Well, he can now call for defend using Tuktu. So slight misplay he's from Just Falls. He's holding the Sun Beacon right there. Yep. So Just Falls should now ideally call for Defend to get the Beacon get out. The beacon and then to heal break. for. Yeah. Yep. So there's your Beacon. Yeah. Surely taking the Beacon. Assuming call for Defend. He might not have. Yeah, there yep. we go. So he takes the Beacon. Yeah, so that is five healing for He knows what he's going to be discarding. Yep. So this question obviously happy to lose that card. Well, he yeah. must be because well, yeah, otherwise he's well, he should be dead at well, last turn. Like, but yeah. uh, unless again I miss that Seven. turn. Yeah. But yeah, there is four damage in hand. So dimension hunter gone. Yep. Yeah. Five healing and four damage. And there's also now knowingly a mountain fort there, so there is some more damage reduction in there. Yeah. So uh, first okay, so action we see next. That zombie can come out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he probably did play one last turn then. Yeah. But in which case he may have oh, drawn and discarded a card he shouldn't have. Yeah, so that's good for the Tuk Tu. Yeah. Uh, but that hand is not good for Tuk Tu. No. <laughs> uh, now, how many gravity cards win there? Uh, there are components for the black hole. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're uh, going. So, so that would be brave. I. Anti-gravity snail. Oh, that was top. Of course, he discarded the. Yes. The yeah. hunter. Of course. So and then out the mountain. Then out with the mountain. Fort. Yes, of course. Uh, but yeah, the pathfinder saves that. Yeah. And four healing and six damage. There we go. So that is so, the first round. Yeah. So game over one to goes to Selene. And uh, Tom is there. We go, Tom. Yeah. So. So, okay, so now that's our first game over yeah. to Just Falls. Yeah, so, so now, now they're looking at sideboarding. So anything interesting in our uh, player sideboards, Benny? Okay, so on the side of Mad H, we had nine individual cards with Reality Twister, uh, which already has one of them in the deck, is whether he wants more or not. Yeah. Uh, Yacona Archaeologist, Everrock Racer, Unruly Mob, Weapon Master, Umbron Brute, Creeble Monk, another Umbron Brute, actually, and a Jester. Um, so, okay, now, so what would you be doing now, Benny? Well, so he is. Uh, yeah, so he's running a Reality Twist order in the deck. Now, yep. I have to admit that the only use of that Reality Twist, as far as I can tell, is uh, to buff off the Pathfinders. Because obviously, uh, Tuk Tu uh, has no Lunar. Yep. The Pathfinder gets more removal if Lunar's on top. Right, okay. uh, the only way to really get around about adding Luna to the deck is with Reality Twister. Okay, okay, um, yeah, yeah. Now, removal wasn't really a concern. It effectively is everything, yeah. yeah. Now, because removal wasn't a concern here, I would imagine he removes the Reality Twister from his deck to bring in something else. Yeah. Um, for example, Creeble Monk to stop the draw build from Selene. Yeah. Um, or perhaps an Unruly Mob to slow down the attacks a bit. Okay. Uh, but of course, all that damage comes from Beacon, which you can't stop with Unruly Mob. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, the Yukon Archaeologist there is one that I thought would be in the deck would in the beginning. In, yeah, that would have uh, Now, he's not that buff heavy, so he has got uh, the meter shell we saw. Yeah. But other than that, it is uh, the three mountain forts. Yeah. And uh, 
an ancient miner, and that is it. Other than Reality Twister, of course, but I would take that out anyway. So you think the Yukona Oracle, uh, if you can get it off with a meteor shower, could be a, yeah. now could there be is a, a hell of a combination. Now, he, that has two spectral guides. There's a fun interaction with spectral guide and Yukona Archaeologist. So a spectral guide is an ability to let you draw two cards. Yep. Uh, and it's a clunky one. Yep. So you draw the cards, and after you finish a draw, that's when you rotate it. So if you draw an archaeologist, you can just restart it instead. Oh, OK. Uh, so you can actually get two uses out of the, the guide yeah. and still restart it. Oh, okay. So yeah, there's mobile you. there as well. That's cool. Um, so the guys are obviously, I guess yep. they've... On the side of Cellini, yes. just false, we have infiltrators, blinding beetles, weapon master, jester, Creeble monk and unruly mob. Uh, so the unruly mob seems to be a real popular one to get yeah, in these I mean, sideboards yeah, now. It's, uh, Dolo is common. So it's, yeah. it's a really good guard against Dolo, as mentioned in the yeah. previous game, because of the uh, Crystal Bat and yeah. Rock Rager combination. Yeah. Uh, now, in this particular matchup, again, I don't think Unruly Mob would do that much good. Yep. Uh, he might want to just slow down the Tuktu even more, uh, because he gets some input, input into what he draws, because of the draw phase up aspect. Yeah, of course, yeah. So a Blinding Beetle could be good, uh, uh -huh. but it's get healing and send attack cards back. However, he wasn't really su suffering from healing in this game. Uh, so it might become a Chim Chim Infiltrator okay, to yeah. get some of those cards back in again. They just keep going aggressive. Okay, well, <laughs> interesting to see what's been made. I think the guys are, I think the guys have just about finished making their, yeah. and they finished making their choices. So I think we're just about ready to get over for the second game. <clears throat> yeah. So we have Tick to going first. Yep. And revered in the top four for something. Yeah. Took two oh, for there's, there's, that meet, there's that meteor shower okay, again. Took for attack and get a sun strike to hand. And then getting another known card with uh, the snail for four damage. Yep. So good little interplay there. Uh, then we've got the so Yakona uh, yep. name Spec that I forget. Spectral yeah, spec guide. guide. Spectral guide. Uh, which draws him a card on entering play. And going oh, ag aggressive again. Yeah. Uh, quick aggression. Yeah, so so interesting choice with Tuktu here. Tuktu knows that there is a meteor storm yeah. uh, in the uh, on top of the deck yeah. there. Yep. So it could go counter aggressive. Um, I mean he's restricted options otherwise. He could have was played Mountain for to try to soak some of the probably incoming damage now. Yeah. But at the same time... It's a Dimensional Hunter. Okay. Uh, so there's no additional action there. So he's... Okay. So he's returning the Sun Beacon Yeah, there. so that's good value. Because obviously yeah. Sun Beacon, as mentioned before, doubles up on the yes. Observatory. So that saves him four points of value. That's good. Uh, in addition... Uh, from yeah. the uh, Observatory, in addition to the obviously two cards lost. Mm -hmm. Two damage. He does not get additional action because Lunar's on top. He yeah. doesn't have Lunar. Uh, but as mentioned, he does have a Reality Twister, so he could and use that. Chum -chum Militant. Okay, so he's going very aggressive here. Yeah. Uh, he's using Spectral Guide to draw two cards. So Dimension Hunt is one of them. Oh, and Ooh. a Creeble Monk. Yeah, so Creeble Monk put into play. So he stops Tuktu's ability now, and he also okay. gets a bit of healing. However, Creeble Monk stops all abilities, including his own. So he can't use Selene now, oh, or wow, the Spectral okay. Guide. <laughs> okay, so Strong Monk, so he's got that Meteor, he's got that Meteor Shower now. Yep. And of course, the healing is also benefiting from uh, the observatory. So yes. he still got some value out of that. Uh, so can he can he make that meteor shower work more for him this game? Uh, so let's find out if we put in the archaeologist. Yeah, that would be. Of course, it's like another benefit with. Uh, so worth mentioning is that when Tukta looks for cards, it is not drawing them; it's moving them. So yeah. you can't use that to find an archaeologist, but you can use to see if there is an archaeologist. Okay, and yeah. then therefore play your meter shower when archaeologist is on his way. Yes. Uh, oh. Well, I say that, and I'm being really stupid yeah. because you shuffle the deck when you play archaeologist. Uh, oh, shower. right, yeah, of course. Uh, there you go. Uh, so ignore me completely. <laughs> uh, we'll but put that you one can, down to the sickness. But at least, right, at least once it's down, at least once it's down, you can see if it's coming up or not. So whether yeah. it's worth drawing into it or just keep on playing. Okay, so. There is no Pathfinder in the hand of just Foz. Yeah. So. so 
Yeah, he's just drawing two. Drawing so two. again, he can't yeah. use the ability here because no. of the crew mode. So that's going to rotate for seven damage there from, yep. from that meteor shower. There we go. It says a spectral guide out. Yep. Oh. And one more action. That at the moment. He has drawn more cards. And a blinding out uh, of paralysis bug, sorry. Is that blinding beetle. Blinding beetle, I was right. Blinding beetle. Yeah, so still no Pathfinder in hand. He yeah. can use the ability now, but he it is gravity, so even if it draws Pathfinder now, he can't use it. So draw uh, more cards off of that. So it's yeah, a Sun course, Strike, is that? Yeah, so it's got a Yukon Tactician in his hand, so he could just heal up a bit and keep the action. Because, uh, of course, your Tactician heals for four and gives you one extra action if you have gravity on top. Yeah. Uh, can also start drawing even more with the uh, with that Lookout. Because his hand is very defensive right now. Yeah. He's got the militant and a single uh, and a yeah, Sun Higer in the combo, of course. Uh, but yeah, I think what we wanted him the last game was really the, the, the tempo he kept up. So he probably wants to keep just keep going heavy on rebuilding. Okay, so there we go. Heal off of the... Yeah, so it's still on action. Yeah. Okay, so where does he go now? What do you think? Oh, yeah, so... Uh, I probably would at this point. I personally would hold on to that. Uh, you want... Stop okay, the no, yeah, because right now, like, that five damage is not going anywhere. No. Like, yeah, so maybe into Mountain Fort eventually, yeah. but, uh, but yeah. he'll hit the Mountain Fort at some point anyway if he's going to play it. Yeah. Um, because he doesn't have a a Pathfinder and the risk of an Archaeologist, if yeah. he even has one, yeah, uh, I would have probably just dug for a, a Pathfinder. Yeah. So the Blinding Beetle there. Yeah. So More two here. attacks going back in. Oh, it's this. Yeah. Yeah. So there's only one attack in there. So, which is the sun strike. And so, in this case, again, I was proved a bit wrong. He did get value out of that play. <laughs> yeah. He saved an attack card. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I'm just off form today. Everything I call is wrong. Oh, Benny, you just, you've been sick. You, you've, not, you've been under the weather. <laughs> we'll put it down to that. Uh... And that was, yeah, that was the two actions. It was a draw and a blinding beetle. Yeah. So, so, okay, so another, another <coughs> spectral guide. Yeah, and that's pity for seven. Well, so these guys are getting healing up again now. Like, uh, yeah. we've, we've seen some damage earlier on, but there we go. Yeah, so he's gone on defense for a bit here, but yeah. of course, with Cellini has good draw ability if he's happy to cycle his deck. Uh, paralysis bug comes out. Oh, we said mirror beast. Yep. <laughs> so control cards next turn. Uh, he wonder if see an archaeologist again if he put one yeah. in. I'm assuming he put one in. Yeah. Um, I guess maybe we'll find out still later in the game. Uh, now I would have. Oh, oh uh, okay. Yeah, so he's using the ability there to move an attack to hand. That's rippling flare again. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So where do we go now? So we, okay, so what's that? We've got a... Uh, seven damage. Astro yep. And uh, also a Sun Hunger. Hunger. The Sun Hunger is starting for three, three, four. Wow, okay, yeah. So that is, uh, that is some good damage now, as yep. long as that's on top, right? Yeah, so there's a Pathfinder in hand. Of course, never loot on top, although in this case, it could have been because the Meteor Shower was about to expire, which is all yes. order elements. Yep. So he could have had loot on top to remove both of them. Oh, uh, yeah. That would, have, uh, that would have been useful. Yeah, now... They're both quite even on health here. Yes. 22 on Just Foss and 20 on, uh, on Mad, Mad H. H. Yeah. Uh, there's 10 damage on the board. Yeah. Uh, Mountain Fort, of course, is great to soak some of that up, but he doesn't have one, no? No, nope. no, he's got uh, Bold of Beast. But. So, I mean, it's like the Pathfinder here, really. Yeah, it's like the Pathfinder, yeah. But that 10 damage was something he didn't want to take. <laughs> yeah. And he's going aggressive with the Mirror Beast. The mirror beast. So it's so the first Mirror Beast we've seen in the in these games so far. Yeah, so it's three damage and back to hand because the last is called a of Gravity. And here comes another Mirror Beast. Uh, no. Oh no, I thought it was, I thought it would make a Mirror Beast. So go. My look bad. Out, so, two. Out. so that was a Sandstalker and Dusk Feeder. He's never going to have a Mirror Beast. There's not even one in his deck. I've no. gone mad. I'm going to blame your sickness, Benny. <laughs> I apologize for my sickness. 
There you go. So now we've got a mountain fort. Yeah, and also an ancient, oh, an ancient oh, miner. Oh, and an ancient miner as well. Yeah. So um, would it make sense to play the miner here? Yeah. So you want to miner? Just keep, keep that draw going. And speaking of draw, special guy draws him too. Okay. Creeble monk there. Yeah. Now he probably wants peace. He has an observer as well. So he's probably holding on to Creeble monk to double up the healing. Uh -huh. He could play both at the same time, of course, and then benefit from the damage buff on latter turns as well. So, uh, so yeah, yes, yeah, so he goes for the healing, no build use. And, uh, so it means that he will miss out on at least one corner of boosted healing if he wants to play the observatory into it. Yeah. Uh, now, really what this does is limiting his build use the took to power. And of course the four healing. Yeah. Uh, but I think that uh, Mad H is okay with this. Is that a reality rift in hand? Yeah, so he's using reality yeah. rift to pay for Sunstrike. Okay, so taking is that 10 damage, is it? Sorry, yeah. Sunstrike? Uh, 7 damage and seven. 1 additional action. Uh, Ripping Flare is a 10 damage one. Ah, oh, okay. So he still has 1 action to go. And then the Mirror Beast again for 3 and draw a card for the combo. One so, healing. Um, Foz getting down to uh, the lower end of the health track now. Yeah, so this is where... Oh. Yeah, so, so 7 healing, 5 damage. And the uh, Dust Feeder. Yeah, so... I would have loved to see just Foz play that Observatory last turn. Yeah. To, to just get to get increase. 4 extra healing yeah. from the Monk. And also 4 value on that play. Now, I don't yeah. know if he held the Dust Feeder in his hand previous turn. He drew one instead, of course. So yeah. he might have just drawn it. Oh, that's a good play here. So three healing and two attack cards back. Okay, so we're both sitting on 18 health now. <laughs> yeah, but hand advantage is over to Mad Age. Yes. And also the the burst from the black hole is out. And is then the even more healing. Beast? Bring it back up. Yep. So both of heal up again. Uh, quite a hefty amount here. So where does he go now? I mean, I could see the mountain fort coming out, um, yeah. but he is okay. He's he's going okay. So he's going really oh. aggressive again, but wow. he has no damage left in his hand. So he so he's just going to be sitting there now. If yeah. So just Foss has time to recuperate from this. Yeah. He is holding a, he's got a beacon, beacon and, and he's holding the observatory. He has some good healing coming in, but. Of course, he might just play the Sun Beacon right now. He doesn't know exactly what damage is in uh, yep. uh, Mad Age's hand. Okay, we've just seen him put a militant. Because if he's afraid of 10 damage right now... Uh, oh, oh, he's, oh uh, he's got rid of that. He's got rid of the draw too. Oh, so there's a Pathfinder <laughs> and another Sun Beacon. Sun Beacon, good value here. Sun Beacon coming out, losing, losing a look out. Four, four damage to five healing. Uh, now, there's mostly just defense in uh, Mad Age's hand there. He's got five damage, but... Going for attack, oh, I would assume. Oh. There's a Rock Rager. He can't really play anything with the Rock Rager, but if he can't attack, he has another choice. Yeah. Um, now I don't see him drawing for buff, really. Because he... Yeah, yeah, let's attack. So of course he wants to get he has the final bit of damage now. And then take in the Sun Beacon. Yeah, so he now next turn has 10 damage incoming. Okay, he's shuffling down a Pathfinder to draw two. Okay, that is a lot of healing coming in as well. Okay, so another sun, sun hugger? He has a Dusk Feeder on top, and he has a beacon, so he can actually heal for 12 if he so wishes. Wow. Uh, but losing the solar on top. Yeah. And six um, damage it onto five. So, yeah. so I'm expecting to see that 12 heal now. Yeah. Uh, possibly, possibly a seven, and then uh, Astral Priest into it. Yeah. He has come down instead to keep pressure up and keep solar on top. So he wants to get more damage value out of the sun hugger. Uh, Mountain Fort will stop most of that but he is also delaying he's only 12 away from the kill as far as he's concerned of course, yeah, there's of course a, he doesn't know what there's a sun beacon in hand so there is another five healing sitting there but he's just healing he's right healing. just going for the all the hill four, and then calling out for attack perhaps again there's an everett racer there yep <laughs> okay so that's from the that's from the side deck i, I believe say that's from the side deck yeah yep. everett racer obviously moved in what is the ability of the everett racer again uh, the Everock Racer is uh, nothing than a corner three. Yeah. Uh, draw one card in the second corner and send three attack cards from the uh, uh, enemy's hand back to deck. 
So, yeah, so in this case, I would have favored that mountain fort on the previous turn to stop the guaranteed three from the uh, Sunhagen. Yes. Um, because obviously, the first two corners being threes, you'd want to try to make value from that. Yeah, of course. So you could guarantee at least one three into it. Uh -huh. uh, there's always a risk that he will hit for a two or yeah. something like that. Something and, that and lose it a bit of value. Like, yeah. It's just a point, but it could make the difference. Yeah, of course. Uh, Using his ability again. Yeah. So. Okay, so more damage coming in here. So we haven't seen, so we still haven't seen that Yukona archaeologist, if he ever no. put one in. Uh, I mean, chances that he didn't. Yeah. Uh, he did put in more buffs, though, so there's more stuff to restart. Yeah. There's two damage and two defense back. Okay, so... So there's the healing gun. Yeah. And also a, a gravity okay. bubble. So there's a gravity bubble and a sun beacon there. Yeah, yeah, so that was potentially quite crucial because gravity bubble restarts all your own buffs and sends all the target or recipient's buffs to the last corner. Right, okay, yeah. Um, could have been useful. Um, if he had, uh, he probably didn't have it sooner because he could have used that restart to the Sunhugger. Um, I don't know if he's running in more Sunhuggers. And let's bubble back in again anyway. Uh, although right now, I suppose he hits for eight damage first. Yeah. So it doesn't actually waste as much from the yeah. mountain fort as he might have, might fall otherwise. Although payment for black hole is nice. Okay, yeah, so militant there. Yeah. <coughs> Dropping into five. So see that healing guard. He has the second militant in his hand. So he is probably just going for the kill now. There you go, Ooh, so he's got the Emerald Bracer out there. Okay. Uh, he has one more militant in hand, so he has the last five damage. Yeah. And I don't think there is any healing here. He can, of course, send a card to bottom of the deck, draw two, and hope to get heals. Yeah. But with gravity on top, that healing might just be a three or... Okay, so that's what he's going for. Yeah. Losing his ability, drawing and two cards. And there's no healing. So this will be game. He's, yep. So we're moving the mounting fort, but that's not going to be the difference maker here. Yeah, and that's five so there damage. we go. So that's the militant for yeah, five so damage. Drawing the game at 1-1. One, one. So that's one apiece. So now the guys can again sideboard. Yeah. have a little look through. Maybe we'll see that Yukon Archaeologist. Yeah, yeah, so we straight away. Oh, OK. Oh, there you go. You get a good little look. OK, so interesting here is that uh, Just Foss put aside a Sun Beacon into the side deck. Oh, he put one away. Yeah, in okay. the previous well, game. Yeah. He did not bring it back in now. So he's running two Sun Beacons, not three. Okay, he's taking a Monk back out, because I think it affected him as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the Archaeologist is still there. He did not put the Archaeologist in. He's considering it, though. Yeah, go on, take it. We want to see it come out at the same time as the Meteor, as the meteor Shower. Is he going to do anything? No, he's no, not nope. making any changes. Okay, so no Archaeologists. It's a bit sad, but... Okay, so heading into the third game. So both games so, so far have gone to, so to one the apiece. third. Yeah. So who do you who do you personally favour? Do you think going into the third game? I mean, obviously uh, it's hard to say, but which deck I, do you prefer, Benny? Is what uh, I'm asking you. Well, I would like to see I would love to see Tucker doing well here. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the Cassini will take it. The Cellini. Uh, oh, yeah. Cellini even, not Cassini. Yeah. Uh, many Cinis. There, there's a lot of Enis, yeah. Uh, but, uh, so. Oh, there's Ooh, a, okay. That gets that so, meteor yeah. shower right at the start every time, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, because. So I think the Tuktu is a bit there more. there as well. He's gone for the Mirror Beast. Okay, yeah, so he's got. That potentially steady damage in hand immediately. He might prep for that straight away now with yeah. Dimensional Hunter and you send Defend Gods back. Dimensional Hunter? Yeah. It's hitting two defense. It's yeah. hitting Gravity Bubble and Dust Peter. Yeah. And of course, it's two damage. And Gravity is now on top, so he will get the the bouncing Mirror Beast if he so wants it. Yeah. But of course, if he does, he's kind of also sacrificing a lot of hand build up here. It's not like is really scared of impending death yet. <laughs> <laughs> not, not quite this early <laughs> in the game. 
I'm just amazed that you always seem to get that that meteor shower right at the start. Yeah, so a dimensional hunter here. Yeah, another dimensional hunter. For... Not on top of Lunar, but there are no defend cards. No. So that's simply two damage. That's got to be annoying. Oh, did he just do two gravity? Did he use the spectral oh, guy this time? I don't know. Uh, he did. Uh, but of course, he's seen his whole hand now. Yeah. Uh, so. They do seem to be talking to one of the judges. Yeah. Yes, of course. It's, that's actually quite favorable for just false because that was not so the he's best. So shown a hunter. hand, whereas he shouldn't have. Yes, of course, Foss now is inside in the hand. Yeah. So that is unfortunate. So there was a hand reveal that didn't need to. That, yeah, that, because the card shouldn't have played, there yeah, should have been a hand uh, reveal. So basically, just Foss got minimum possible value out of that card. That card yeah. Uh, it's an, he didn't get initial action, he didn't get any cards in back. So he right. basically lost like, yeah. a card and a half's worth of value there. That's. That is unlucky. So the Everett race are being checked. Obviously, it came out of the sideboard after yep. the first game. Yeah, so that will have a pretty big impact next turn. Yeah. Uh, it's basically enforcing... Ooh, okay. Just Foss draws even more cards because he could just go for empty his hand of attacks, but he actually draws even more attacks instead. Everett race have been sideboarded by a lot of people. Do you, well, do you think sideboarded for potentially coming up against Dolo decks? Uh, yeah, any, any rush deck. Yeah. Like it's, uh, it, I mean, Dolo especially because he tends to draw lots of cards and then yeah. start attacking you down. Yeah. So uh, he gets one card for the effect and then three attacks back to deck. <laughs> so that's really good value. It's basically yeah. a four card swing. Yeah. And, he, and more, more importantly here, lets him build up his handle a bit and just lets him, because it feels like he is uh, relying a little bit more on the interplay of his cards. Mm -hmm. uh, like he wants to get those combos. Yeah. He wants to spike down. Yeah, so there's that mirror beast. Uh, and also wants to keep his opponent's hand low, so he can keep on mirror beasting. So when do you think we see the we see the meteor shower come out? When do you think that's coming? Um, I would have expected it now because three attacks could yeah. hit pathfinders. Yeah. Now he didn't see any, yeah. but those might have been the only three attackers he had. So the chance of a pathfinder being in hand is mm -hmm. relatively. Yeah. I mean, at any point in the game, now would probably be the time. Yeah. Uh, What's the total damage on that? There we yeah, go. There, he there goes. goes the meteor shower. So seven, what, 16 damage, is it, altogether? Yep. yep. So 16 and damage uh, coming off a card sitting on the table is a, a nice amount of damage to be hitting him with at this yeah. point. Yeah, and uh, with the Creeble Monk out, he also can't Selene for a Pathfinder. Yeah, of course, yeah. So he's stopping his own ability to find one there. Yep. I mean, we've seen two games where the Meteor Shower has managed to fully go off each time, yeah. haven't we? Like, would it be the hat trick? And uh, he is not digging for it. No. Of course, it will just be say just. It will save nine damage if you play it on the next turn. Yeah. So there's there's an argument here for just drawing two. Uh, just try and get that. Yeah, to save get, the nine yeah. there. But of course, the Mad H's hand size is not that big. Yeah. Oh, uh, he can't do that. No. From his own from his own monk. Uh, yep. So his own monk blocking his ability use yep. there. <laughs> so, this yeah. is a, what's this, a Chim Chim Militant? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so he's going for Solar on top, yeah. but it won't be Solar on top next turn because the Creep Monk is going on top. So the Sun Hunger is for one instead of yeah. three. That's, yeah, that's not what you want. Unless you can get another one in. Yeah. So that's a... Probably a slight misplay. I yes. assume he didn't intend for that. No, you assume that he thinks that that's still going to be there next time. And this card draw. Okay, so that goes. Now he only gets the one. Yep. There and he go. doesn't really have that much convenient stuff to put on top either. He could no. play a... This oh, no, he has a militant. He could play the militant. And just hope to survive. So he's using his ability there. Yeah. Bring another two cards. Okay, he so got some healing. He got he the got pathfinder, pathfinder. But he doesn't loot on top, so he can't remove both. So he could save himself nine health, which he probably he probably will do. But he's missing damage from the Sunhugger, and yeah. he is not hitting the card draw from the Ancient Miner. It's a tough position. Yeah, the Creeper Monk there did a lot of bad for him. Yeah, he did. It really it really scuffered him, didn't he, from his own monk. I mean, he got the four healing, of course. 
Very which could be valuable, but yeah. not totally sure what to do right now, obviously. Yeah, because if that monk wasn't there and his militant was going to be on top as he thought, he could have dusk feed it now yeah. for a seven and then remove both. Yeah. So that's yeah. I think that's yeah. really yeah. yeah. That's really scuffed with yeah. his plans, yeah. I think. Unlined cards in Astro is always a bit of a risk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what's he doing? He's trying to. He's going to Pathfinder. I. Would you I Pathfinder? Think I I would. I mean, the, the question here is, can he just, or would I? Because, yeah, so, so, so going, there. yeah, so going for the militant now means I does the hit for five next turn. And assuming that he survives this, yeah, then he can. Ooh, will he survive it? Yeah, he'll he survive it. But assuming that he does, then he can use the sun hug next turn instead. Yeah. So heal for seven and kind of undo some of that. Okay. So it's boulder feasted. Okay, that... I thought would, I, I expected to see the militant come out there and the uh, yeah because next turn is as far as he's worth four damage because yeah okay and then the ability for so there's a sun beacon as well his own pathfinder uh, I can assume for attack uh, oh no so it's got oh. the sun beacon what's for defense okay yeah okay so he has plenty of damage next turn yeah but seven healing should come in now after the three damage <laughs> and then he can remove both. So he can stop two card draw and four damage. Which he's doing? Yeah, so I don't quite agree with Mad Dish's play there on the previous turn. Oh, oh that's oh. gone. No, that's gone, yep. buddy. He's removed both. Yep. There we go. Yeah, and we have. Uh, Spotted by the judge. Yep. Uh, Jacob coming in from this side there. Okay, so a couple of power assist bugs there. Oh, all the bugs. All the bugs and just yep. a guy having a little look at the spine. <laughs> yep. Pretend not to see the bugs exactly. on the floor. Yeah, they're, they're just crawling all they're over. No, no bugs. No, no bugs. No, no bugs. <laughs> okay, so he is building for the combo, I assume. So next turn he has uh, twelve damage. Okay. Can he get him down a bit before then? Um. So the, no, the, yeah. So we go the militant trying to bring. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, so he, he is in. So he's, he's in range. Yeah. So he should be able to sun strike a militant next turn. Yep. Paying for it with the paralysis bug and the. Oh, no, no, of course he doesn't Milton now. Uh, no, he used the Milton. No, he used the Milton, yeah. So and he's got four damage in his hand because the uh, Sun Beacon. Yes. Uh, so he can get him to one, which is probably worth doing. Yeah. Um, he does have the uh, Mirror Beast that he can also play enough for three bounce back. Right, yeah, which he's done. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm being all kinds of stupid today. He used the Sun Beacon to pay for it. He doesn't have a Sun Beacon. Oh. He, he saved the Mirror Beast. Yes. Okay, so he's sitting on two now. Uh, mirror Beast again next turn. Yeah. Okay, uh, getting the yeah. heal off so the... It's, uh, he's on six, so it's... Uh, so the Tactician giving him four healing there. Yeah. Okay, he's got another five healing there in hand. It's lucky he's putting his healing. He's healing now. Yep. Okay, gravity Ooh, snail. Gravity snail there. And of course he knows a mountain tops so is uh, a solid four damage. Uh, but mountain fort is not going to do him that much good right now. He's not really in danger at the moment, but it might be nice to okay, so have down just to in case. Snail. Down to two. Yeah, of course we're going to see five healing now, and we only have three damage left in hand, and we know there's no damaging cards coming up either. Yeah. Ooh, okay. okay there's only one card there. Yeah, so one card draw, three healing, and a two attacks back so there's no damage in hand but shuffling the deck here is actually pretty nice yeah, for Mad H. Yeah, because he knows there was nothing coming up that was yeah. going to get him that damage he a, that he needed. Yeah, Pathfinder was a boulder feast yeah. and of course whatever was underneath those two. <laughs> but he might now have a... on top now. Because if he gets militant here that's it's game. Good. Sun Beacon, Petition. No attacks at all. The that's bugs are all back. The... I assume this means that he gets nothing at all. He, I'm he's guessing he called for attack. attack. Yeah. Yeah, he did call for like attack. Oh. Oh. I'm tough. sure he's pretty hopeful at that point that one attack would have made its way into that top four. Yeah. So and there's there some beacon there. And uh, I mean, he has plenty of defenses, so he's not in danger of dying. But he might miss. He just he might he just miss can't keep here him down in that because that kill zone. Because just Foss right now is still on 12 damage. Yeah. He is. Okay. What was that? I missed that. Just so he sent down an Astral Priest. He could have hit for 12 and next turn had the kill, assuming there's no healing. Yeah. He knows there's a Mountain Forge, which would have been just enough to stop the kill afterwards. Okay, 
Uh, yeah. I believe, uh, yes, by one. So there's black hole okay, again. Okay, yeah, so his hand is starting to look really good now. So, so he's got a lot of so just forces, damage coming up. Yeah, just forces, maybe pulling this back now. Yeah. It looks like he's sitting on a lot more yeah. a lot more damage incoming. He has planned alignment for 12 damage. He has so splinter card draw. So he's getting now, up that. That blinding beetle could be really good right now. Get that spectral guy to just try and get some cards in. Okay, he well. does. Okay, you know, I could see this going to, while there's no reduction in play, yeah. just going for that planetary alignment. Yeah. He might also want to keep the gravity bubble uh, for Mountain Fort to rotate mm -hmm. to the last corner. Yeah. So get it becomes hit for quick. five and then skip five points of that reduction. Oh, here we go, so planetary alignment yeah, is so coming out. Yeah, so we do go for alignment. So that's 12 damage. Yeah, down to four. He doesn't Ooh. get to draw a card now because of the paralysis bug. Oh, of course. Uh, <coughs> so the paralysis bug stops the card draw there as well. So yep. it's all card draw. Yep. Um, so the bug should go away. Now the question is, he doesn't have superior solar. So does he play Blinding Beetle or he plays a beacon? Yeah, it's a beacon. There goes another spectral guide. We've seen a lot of use out of these sun beacons. Yeah. Today. So I'm, Boulder beast, yeah. back up to 16. Now, of course, I would say again that I would love to see the mountain fort. Yeah. Because the later you wait, the less chances you're going to get to use all these corners. Yeah. So another sun beacon coming out there. Yeah. Of course, he might not want to have two dispel targets on the board. Yeah. Uh, this is true. So we have Matt H at the moment sitting on 15 health. Yep. And, and just for sitting on 13 health, so yep. it's a very close game now. Yeah, uh, Foss's hand is Foss, looking Foss, pretty Foss, decent with this on beacon. Yeah. There's two, okay, that's nice. That is very nice so for Mad H. And a sun beacon. Yeah, so he could use Blinding Beetle and uh, the uh, uh, and the Dimensional Hunter oh, to pay so, for the yeah. sun strike, and then uh, have yeah. uh, again the okay, no, he's using that's his only gravity card. Okay, so he okay. can't afford to pay for Sunstrike now. Okay, that seems like a seems like a questionable choice. Uh, that is Sunstrike, right? Or am I not I seeing the angle right there? Uh, I oh. can't tell at the moment. Oh, no, no, there's no Sunstrike. No, so you've got a Sun Beacon in there, you've got a Mirror Beast. Okay, yeah, never mind me. We are, just to let people know, we are looking at this on quite a small screen, so we are kind of peering into the void a little bit to work out what cards people are holding. Okay, there's a Sunstrike. There's you a see that one. The other, that's the way you were looking at it, yeah. in the other hand. Yeah, no, I see that one clearly. Uh, but yeah, I think it's, yeah, that's the debate here. He starts going for the, the Mirror Beast play. Yeah. So, another Blinding Beetle coming out. Yeah, and that's, a, that's also a very good hit. So, oh, both the combos, Sunstrike and Black Hole gone. Oh. So, of course, he could have used the Black Hole to pay for the Sunstrike. Yeah. But, but not now he isn't. However, um, um, Mad H is not really in kill range. No. Sending down the Sandstalker. Oh. And. Running out of Sun Beacon and a. Is that Solar Wind, was it? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> So two draw from the Spectral Guide. And uh, Mirror Beast again. Yeah, he's just feeling safe there. Yeah, just going for that Mirror Beast tap damage. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's, he's swung this right back and he's got two, is that two Sun Beacons? Uh, yeah. One, yes, two Sun Beacons. Yeah, so he, he's he got the... He's got the potential uh, for some good recovery when he needs to. Yeah. Another Mirror Beast and a Mountain Fort. Yeah, so there's the Fort. Just keeping that damage off. Yeah, there we go, so, so he does feed it. Oh, sorry, no, Spirit, uh, Spectral okay. Guide, Ooh, okay. sorry. Yeah, there, there, and there there's go. the. So these guys are both putting up a lot of healing, both sitting at 14 health now. Yeah. Uh, now the damage is slightly favoring. Mirror Beast again. Okay, and there's Unruly Mob. Okay. So of course, the when it comes to just pure burst damage, 
Uh, Selene has a slight favor here because she okay. can double solo. Two double, yeah, so which, which is the cannot. attack cards, yeah. So even though Tuktu is sitting on nine damage in a single turn of solo cards, he can only use one of them. So he can't do some Beacon and Militant. Okay, so here's oh, a Blinding Beetle. And here's a Blinding Beetle sending two back. Uh, that will be the Mirror Beast and the oh. Militant. I'd be sorry to see that Mirror Beast go. Uh, now, the deck of... Uh, <laughs> yeah, so just pause this deck. It's also starting to look a little bit small there. I was going to say, the deck must be getting down now. Yeah, so... Obviously holding those two Sun Beacons, potential for losing a couple of... Yeah, so it's calling Mountain out for the attack. Rock Rager, Boulder Feast, oh, oh, and a Pathfinder. I thought we were going to see all Mountain for <laughs> a second there. Yeah, so equal attack, yeah, so he's got... Okay, so that's good. So he's taking got, that Rock Rager. So he has 10 damage there. He has one more action now, so if he yeah. puts in one of his two beacons in play now, he has the Killing Blow in theory next turn. Okay. However... Let's go for Unruly Mob. That might be too quite obvious as well, because... An Unruly Mob there that I just want to say came from one of our regional tournaments. Yeah. Uh, from winning a regional, by the look of it, it's the shiny one. Yeah, so it is. That is the shiny Unruly Mob, so he must have won one of our regional tournaments. Well done, Mad H. Yeah, well played, uh, buddy. So, of course... He is holding off the attacks now, so basically he's even the, the floor in terms of burst potential through action cards. Yeah. Uh, it's because... Uh, it's because you just damned talking about having that extra attack power Yeah, here. however, he gets his Sun Beacon attack. Yeah, of course, uh, being a defend. Yeah. Uh, now, I probably... Where would you go now, Benny? Uh, well... There is no healing in... Yeah, so he could have had the kill this turn. So there's a Sun Beacon, Mountain Fort. Yeah, because he's got six damage now. Yeah. He has the last and four. And the Rock Rager. So the, the thing here is that he could have done the last four damage the last turn. Yes. Uh, now there is some healing though, so yeah. not in kill range. No, keep trickling it back up. He can hit four, he can if he's brave enough to hit it, but I think, he's, I think he just wants the Pathfinder. Because yeah. he's got a whole Mountain Fort in the way of dealing damage now. Yes. How many Pathfinders have we seen come out? We've seen only the one. Is it only the one? I think only the one. Uh, no, he sent one to the bottom of the deck, I think. Oh, yeah, he did, yeah. But, I mean, that, who knows where that is now? Uh, actually, no, to the bottom of the Discard Palace. Oh, I mean. but, oh but of course, yes. So two of them might be gone. There's a Pathfinder. Just, uh, two Pathfinders? Just two. Two. All those Pathfinders, them. just showing them off. Yeah, and there's a Militant. We've seen those Pathfinders a few times over there, just staring off obliviously. Yeah, so Militant so for, five. for five. And we know there is... Three. Is it sitting on three health? There is damage in hand. He has the Selene here, really. Yeah, he's just got to see what he gets. Yeah, what I can see him losing that observatory for yeah. the Selene and hope to get some healing. Look at checking his discard pile. A yeah. lot of cards in that discard pile now. Yeah. Yeah, it's starting to look really, really yeah, grim yeah. here. I suppose whenever he's using that Selene ability, he is feeding cards into his discard. Yeah, and also so. the Sun Beacon. Yeah, and so. yeah, the Sun Beacon doing the same thing, so. Burning through cards maybe a little quick. Yeah, and at this point, it's, I mean, he has enough damage to to kill, but there is so much reduction in the way right now. Yeah. Effectively, Mad Age is on 29 health. Oh, okay. so he's Black Hold. Yeah. So Black Hold did 9 damage? Uh, well, 6 that. of the reductions. Oh, I've got, of course, up the reduction, yeah. But 1 damage back again. So the reduction <laughs> takes place before they are removed. Uh, so the it deals damage first before and then it removes the cards. Yeah. So it hits the Mountain Fort, then it... Yeah, and there comes Sun Beacon. There we go. And the it win. becomes a 2-1 win for Mad H with the Tuk so, deck. So there you go. The deck you were hoping to see progress through. Well, uh, well the, the, the hero you were hoping to see progress Yeah, I don't on. want to sound too biased here, but it's 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 always fun to see these uh, these crossword decks playing. Yes. Now, I do know that he uh, in the last regional, this I think it was Mad H's same son on the Tuk deck finished second in okay. that tournament. Yeah. So it's a, it's a proven and tested deck. Yeah. Uh, so... A nice game there. So that was there yeah. was a lot of yeah. back and forth there. A lot of healing coming out. Yeah. We saw it flowing back in each person's direction each time. Yeah, because uh, there was a time when I thought Selena was going to bring it back. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, Just Foss got health really high back up again. Yeah. At the same time as uh, uh, Mad just wasn't pulling any damage. Yeah. Now he did get the reduction card instead, so he could obviously balance that out a bit. Yeah. We saw a lot of damage coming across from the old Meteor Shower during those yeah. games, over those three games as well. Yeah, that's... Uh, what, 48 damage? Yeah, nice. In three games. Awesome. Uh, so that I is mean, again, sad not to see the archaeologists. No, I know, but now we, yeah, we might see it again. I mean, someone else might get to feel yeah. the brunt of that. So that is the end of our second round of Swiss. Yeah.
we will be back very shortly. I think I think that might have even been one of our last games to finish by the by the look of the rest of the competitors. Uh, yes. So yep. we might be back on with our next game before before we've left the seat. <laughs> so thanks everyone. Hope you're enjoying it. Remember we're here at the UK Games Expo in Man no not in Manchester in Birmingham. 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 So we will see you again soon for our next match.